if you look at how people um, were kind of finding thermal comfort before the Industrial Revolution, or actually, you don't have to go that far back, before the 1950s, um, there was no central heating systems. There was not this ample supply of fossil fuels that made it possible. And so the, the strategy was totally different. They were heating people instead of spaces. And uh, there were different ways to do that. Um, the first is to use a radiant heat source. And that is, of course, uh, originally the fireplace, but then later it became the stove. Um, and that is a different type of heating. So the, the, the share of radiation is much higher than the share of convection. And that means that you're not creating an, uh, um, an equal temperature in the whole space. The, the closer you get to the heating system, the, the warmer it gets and, and the further away you get from it, the cooler it gets. So what people did was actually creating a microclimate of thermal comfort in a, in a rather cold space. And people could choose where they, they would sit or stand. So if you were too hot, you, you moved your, away from the stove. And if you were too cold, you were coming closer or you, you were going to sit on top of it. And that's, of course, much more energy efficient in the sense that uh, the energy use is independent of the size of the room. And um, you can be comfortable at lower uh, air temperatures because you increase the share of radiation in, in the heat transfer and you can be comfortable at a lower energy temperature. Like radiant uh, heat is comparable to the heat you get from the sun. And we all know, we all know this effect. If you are, um, say, in winter, um, you are sitting in the sun, it can be quite comfortable, even if it's like only, say, 10 degrees Celsius. But if then someone comes to stand in front of you, suddenly the air temperature remains the same, but suddenly you're cold because this person takes away your, your radiant heat source. Um, and the second thing was uh, that people used made use of um, personal heating devices that worked through conduction. And conduction is another type of heat transfer that is actually... Uh, physical contact between a heat source and a human. So, um, of course, the temperature needs to be lower or you get burned. Like uh, if you touch the, the cooking fire, you're going to get uh, burned. But if you have a low, lower heat, lower temperature heat, like a hot water bottle, uh, you can um, directly transfer heat from the heating device to your body. And that's, of course, the max in, in thermal efficiency. You need very little energy to keep yourself um, comfortable. And so originally, these personal heating devices, they were based on um, kind of sintels uh, from, the, from the fire. So people just took glowing coals from the fire, put it in a ceramic pot, uh, put that in a wooden box, and then put it under their feet, for example. And the clothes from those times, they were like kind of working uh, together with that. So they, they were draped over the heat source and you were literally, um, the heat was rising into your clothes uh, across your body. And again, you can be comfortable in a room that has low air temperature because you created a microclimate that, um, that heats yourself. How, how long ago were... Uh thermal hot water bottles uh, a thing like in, in culture like was that several hundred years ago and and uh secondary question you would heat that up um before you go to bed and you sleep with uh, this this bottle uh but then at three in the morning i would assume all the the heat had dissipated do you, do you go refill it then or what can you tell us a little bit more about that yeah so Hot water bottles, uh, they show up in the records around like 1600. And then, like I said, they were kind of um, used with, with glowing coal. So it was quite dangerous. You also had the bedpan. <laughs> so it was like glowing coals under your mattress. Um, and then when the water supply came in the 19th century, then people switched to um, water as a, as a heat storage medium which is, of course, it's better and, and safer. 
And first, these hot water bottles were made of out of ceramics and out of uh, metal. And then in 1900 and something, uh, the first uh, rubber hot water bottle was uh, was invented. And concerning your second question, uh, indeed, people always think that these hot water bottles are meant uh, for use in the bed, and that they are very um, useful there. And actually, they if you have a, in winter, if you put a hot water bottle there in the morning, it's still hot because the, the blanket is a very well insulating the heat. But um, they're also especially useful outside the bed. Like when, for me, it's my only heating system. And in winter, when I'm sitting here, I have a hot water bottle on my lap. I have one, if necessary, behind my back. And if it's really cold, I have another one below my feet. And um, yeah, every two hours or one, two hours I get up, I refill them and I, I come back. I mean, you have to move now and then. It's not healthy to sit on the, on your laptop um, without interruption for so long. Uh, so yeah, it involves some human labor also. Do people on your street there in Barcelona refer to you at, as that Belgian MacGyver mad scientist guy, or do they have any idea what you do? Uh, I managed to hide it for a very long time, but uh, less and less. <laughs> and actually, I live uh, above a, a bar, uh, like the typical Spanish bar here, and I'm quite often there writing. And they, in winter, when I meet my friends here um, and it's cold, I come down with like four or five hot water bottles. <laughs> and the people of the bar got so interested and they actually want to do it next winter. They want to set up a whole infrastructure with hot water kettle and then a rack of hot water bottles and blankets so that they don't have to pay for their gas terrace heaters anymore, which is very expensive. So, And it, um, might, it might be even more expensive next winter with the whole Russia-Ukraine thing. We don't know what's going to happen there. Yeah, so that, that made it even uh, before. Uh, it's probably like, um, yeah, this guy is a clown, but now people uh, start realizing that it can actually save them a lot of money. 